But teachers always looking for new ways to keep their students engaged in their virtual classroom setting. Channel 5's Marisol Villarreal shows us how one chemistry teacher got creative. Yes, my dollar was on fire, but it didn't burn. Joe Sombrano is an early college chemistry teacher at Wessico High School. He says, aside from lecturing his students virtually, he's been finding other ways to get them to pay attention and learn. Like I told my students, if you want to learn how to play basketball, you don't read about basketball. You get a basketball and you play on the court. Teaching science, unfortunately, we're not in the classroom right now. So I decided, you know what? Let me just turn my garage into a classroom so where I can at least try the show as much as possible. For Zambrano, it's more than just going above and beyond for his students. He stresses the importance of adapting with them as well. You gotta create, you gotta design. My kids, they get a, they get a blast out of building stuff. Teachers just need to be there for all these kids. There's a lot of social and emotional learning going on. And as teachers, we're being, we're, we're being taught that right now. We got different. Hello, and welcome to my classroom. And this is Zambrano a says he'll continue teaching his students from his garage lab until in-person classes resume at the school. The district plans to bring students back to campus using a phased-in approach starting September 28th. Reporting in Wessego, Marisol Villarreal, Channel 5 News at 6.